Testing testicles. Testing testicles. That's good. That's how I test my uh, plosives. <laughs> What's good? It's your boy Caveman. I know I haven't been around for like almost a year and this is my full-time job. So, you know, until YouTube kind of becomes a thing, I say hit subscribe and turn on that notification because I literally have no fucking idea when I'm going to upload the next one. Jeff and I have some downtime, so we're just going to shoot a quick one. And I just want to say hi and uh, I'm still alive. As you can tell, we have moved to a new place. Um, yeah, it's more city now. I've been traveling and it's going to be more videos on that. Again, when I have time to sit down and edit them. So if you have any questions at all, just leave them down in the comments. And I always reply to every single one of them, I promise. And uh, yeah, that being said, today we're going to learn about stereo imaging and how to visualize sound in your head as a 3D space uh, as we're on the verge of spatial audio and stuff. So very important to get back to basics. And uh, yeah, let's just get it. Okay, so let's put this here. So when a lot of people approach stereo imaging, I mean, you can go online. There's tons of videos about stereo imaging. Usually when people think about um, how frequencies stack on top of each other, right? They look at it from a two-dimensional space, like I was saying. And so what I'm talking about is that's the bass, mids, and these are your highs, right? Sorry, I can't spell. Um, so your bass, mids, and highs. And, and you know, low end never comes out from up here, and then highs just come up from, you know, near your, near your asshole. It never really happens. It's, it's always, you know, your bass is your foundation, mids, and your highs. So great, you know, you graduated elementary school, but a lot of people just take that and then they just run with it. Don't you want to know like more, you know? So um, the, way, the way I explain it is you got to take a look at um, stereo imaging as a three-dimensional space. Fuck. <laughs> a three-dimensional Space. Yeah, you get the idea, right? So there is going to be uh, depth now. Depth, that's a good word. It's kind of like girth, depth. So when, when we're talking about uh, a, a three-dimensional space, we include this axis right here. X. This looks like a fucking mess. So pretend none of that happened. I need to put this on the table. <laughs> so you have to look at it from um, uh, more than an x and y axis. You have to look at this. There's now a z coordinate, right? So there's your x per se. This is your y. Now you have a z coordinate, and therefore it makes you know a three-dimensional object or whatever the fuck, right? So going back minus that pyramid, you can kind of picture yourself. What is X and Y and Z? So your Y is your left and right panning. So let's change colors. It's your left and right. Your, your X axis, I'm just paraphrasing here, is your, is your EQ, right? That's your height. We call it the height. Or known as, this is your low end. And these are your high end and everything in the middle, right? Like your snares, your vocals, your whatever screaming at the back of your head because COVID has been two years of absolute fucking hell and you don't really want to remember it, but it's still going and that's your reality. So we all just keep moving forward and holding each other's hand as we cross the road and making sure we're all safe and never looking over our backs because everything's burning behind us and the whole world's kind of heading that way. And Okay, anyway, so uh, yeah, everything, all your feelings and all that's in the midst. But the Z is, is, is called gain, okay? And I don't know if I need to make a gain staging video or if there's enough out there, but essentially gain and volume are two different things. Volume is just the size, right? You know, how many liters of air are you displacing into the space? Uh, kind of like how hot some hi-fi speakers are measured in liters because that's how much air they're displacing the volume of air into the space. Gain is the speed in which that fucking, you know, air is coming at your, your, your face. Death. I think I, I, think I just farted. Um, 
Anyway, so gain is basically how fast that fart is coming in, right? So once you introduce the Z coordinate, that changes everything. Because now, let's draw a little, little us, right? With this little, little green giant. And then um, this is us. And now we can actually tell how far back in the space something is, right? Based on the speed of which it's traveling at us. And this is also called dynamics. So when, you, when you're hitting your limiters, when you're, when you're compressing, and when you're using like, you know, different compressors and the different release settings, that's all playing on this, this axis right here. And the reason why people can't understand compression is because they're not approaching stereo imaging from a three-dimensional space. They're approaching it from this, this two-dimensional space right here. So how are you gonna, how are you gonna tell if, if your kick drum is now going traveling backwards because you're compressing and gain reducing way too hard, right? So yeah, you just graduated, I guess, uh, high school, right? So now let's go into a uh, college, university level type of shit. Uh, let's let's reintroduce those fucking uh, geometric shapes. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys three as homework so I don't blow your fucking brains. So this is shape number one. I don't know why I insist on holding the fucking iPad. Hello? Okay. This is shape number one. This is shape number two. Ah, yes. And this is shape number three. These are going to be the guiding geometric blocks of your butthole when you travel through the fucking, you know, audioverse or whatever the fuck you guys call it these days. So, this is going to be bass heavy Lots of bass, right? At lots of low end, right? All that low end at the bottom, and a little bit of high. So this is kind of like the I call it the hip hop curve, where you get lots of low end, you know, just fucking sledgehammer, and then your highs are kind of like Travis Scott, you know, kind of does buzzy, you know, tiny Bieber kind of bzz, bzz, blah, bzz, blah. Um, and then we move into this area here, where we're kind of thinking more classical, kind of kind of more vocal, vocal centric, jazz, you know, lots of details in the highs, lots of brush. So I know that kind of, that kind of shit. So all that good stuff. I, <laughs> I almost wrote jazz. Do people ever spell jazz, jazz? Just you. Just, just me, okay. Oh, that's why I have you for. Okay, and then this one, I call it the pop. Pop image. So pop is very balanced. You get a balance, you get very nice tight lows, you know, not a shortage of it, a good extension of lows, it fills out nicely. And then the top end is, is, is really, really strong as well. It's not very spread out like this. It's kind of like, there's your vocal, very, very solid. And then you have a little bit of width. But for the most part, you know, your center is very, very strong, right? So there you go. These are your three shapes, you know, so you can kind of print this out you know, do better drawings than this. I'm sure you guys are better artists than I am. So print this out, put it, put it on your wall when you're listening to music. Look at them like this as you're listening to music like a crazy person because, you know, we all got to be a little crazy sometimes. And then also when you're listening to this, put yourself in this little guy's, uh, I don't know if you have a big one, but like, you know, listen to this guy and then, and then kind of see where, you know, the drums are here. Let's, let's use orange. Like your, your snares here, maybe maybe your hats, right? Your fucking, your fucking hats up here. And then you got your kicks down here. And then you have your, your subs, right? And you have your, I'm just destroying my drawing at this point. Um, and then you have your low mids, you know, whatever's in your low mids. And then you might have, you know, whatever fuck shit going on. The standing between the vocal and the piano. Also understand like how, how close it is, right? It's, it's, the, it's the low end like, ooh, in your face. You know, it's the vocal like up here instead, and then maybe the hats are also like really bright. They're like kind of in your face. Maybe they're kind of panned off to the to the left or to the right. But you know, you know what I'm saying. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications because, again, I don't know. I don't know when I'll be seeing you guys next. Maybe never, because you know the inevitable end is coming, and we can only know what is past the event horizon once we reach it. But until that time, we don't know. Do you ever ask yourself those questions in life?
Sometimes you're just sitting under a tree. You see some some kids playing in the park. Cops kind of looking at you, so you don't really like, okay, let's not go there. So anyway, uh, like, like and subscribe, and any questions, just leave it in the comments, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.